hills are alive with the sound of mucus. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. This is Corbin. This Miles. is Rick Siegel. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter. More juicy goddamn. It's so Eat it. juicy. Punch her in the face. Yeah, over and over. Uh, I feel better. Hey, Trump, I'm sure Cameron Bell voted on the Gate Squad. Bang! When was the last time I washed my hands? Gross. Seriously, I just put my hand in my mouth. Coronavirus, wash your hands. Uh. Okay. Okay. Back to our regular scheduled programming. I had to cleanse my mouth out. So this, I believe, is a Carnatic rock fusion. I believe the language is Telugu. Uh, it's called... Oh, wow. Manavilakun Shraviyati. Mist of a Capricorn. By Agam. Well, Agam. I can handle that one. Now read that. This is a cover of an 18th century Carnatic classical composition by Saint Tiagaraja, forgive me for mispronouncing that, by the band Agam. Agam is one of the pioneers of progressive Carnatic rock, presenting Carnatic composition while retaining the original melodies and incorporating Western progressive rock arrangements. Progressive rock and jazz are gel most with Indian classical music due to the improvisational elements and the complexity and rhythmic structures. Also notice the guitarist playing the gamakas, fast oscillations between notes on the guitar, which is a fretted instrument. Yeah. The composition is a devotional piece in praise of Lord Rama. You don't necessarily need the translations to enjoy it. Wow. We probably won't even begin to appreciate the depth of what they're doing musically here. Nope.
15. <laughs> that has a great, wow. great, beautiful, composed Gorgeous. Piece. That was wonderful. I love it when bands and orchestras combine. Because obviously, yes. I love the strings. Yes. Um, and if, if you guys, have, I'm assuming you have, they've been around for so long. If you don't know Trans Siberian Orchestra, and you very well may not, because they're big here in the States mm -hmm. at Christmas time, they have other music, but they're known for taking standard Christmas songs and turning them into these rock operas. Yeah. And I've seen them in concert many, many times. They're as fluid and beautiful as what that just was. Yeah. But this had such, it's just, I felt like I just took a, a nice clean shower in a waterfall of art, artistic excellence right then. That was just refreshing and encouraged my heart about the future of mankind. <laughs> oh. Really did. I'm glad you have hope. I do. <laughs> that right there, that does. That gives me hope in the future of the humanity. Yeah, that was such a beautiful... Have we seen a song of theirs that I, I thought I recognized a lead singer? I, I, we may have. It's, it's very plausible. I think it was VJ Ross. Probably. Um, it was probably VJ Probably. Ross. I think I saw Sartaj in there as well. I think he was in there too. Probably. But and yeah, uh, that was beautiful. I love a good... Gorgeous. I love a bunch of good uh, guitar solos or whatever. Oh, he was smooth like butter. Smooth like butter Smooth. On, on your mom's buttocks. And the, so was the bassist mirroring everything he was doing. It was just, everybody was gorgeous. Was, was it our bassist? No, no, no. Mohini Day? No. <laughs> Not at all. That was fantastic. Um, so please let us know more from them. And thank you to our subber. Yes. Uh, who subbed that for us. Thank uh, you so much for your work. Things contributing to the stupid family. The singer was fantastic. This was gorgeous. I uh, would like to hear more from them. So yes, let us know what please. other songs we should rack to them down. Bella, bella. <laughs>